Hello sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing so good. This vlog is going to be jam-packed full of Memorial Day weekend goodness. I will be sharing uh, my first experience going to the Indy 500. I'll be baking, um, going out on the lake, um, gardening, just being outside and just enjoying the beautiful weather and this amazing weekend. So enjoy you guys. Good morning friends. It is Sunday, May 29th and it is Indy 500 day. I mean, it's been going on all week, but today we have tickets to go see the main race, which is I'm pretty sure it's always on a Sunday. This is my first time um, to go watch the Indy 500, even though I'm a native Hoosier. Um, so I'm glad it's now rather than never. Um, so I'm very excited, but it's 10 till 8 right now. I just got done with my workout um, and I'll try to leave um, some video clips just talking about sort of what I do um, and just some like motivating motivational inspiration that I feel like I have to tell myself every single day. Um, but since it's Central 8, we leave at 9 a.m. to go to the tailgate because our tickets include uh, nearby parking and I heard it's one of the nicer tailgates out of the whole area outside of the stadium or racetrack. So I'm really excited for that. So that's why we're leaving so early. Um, so I, I have no idea what to expect. Um, Keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky's falling down. But I basically have one hour to probably wash my hair, <laughs> take a shower, um, and get ready. Figure out what I'm gonna wear. I already popped some clothes in the washer before I left. I'm thinking about wearing a black tennis skirt and maybe a lighter color top. I don't know, we shall see. But I will update you guys whenever I get back home or whenever I get ready. Alrighty, friends. If you are in your fitness journey already, or maybe you're just now thinking about getting back into the gym, I want to share a couple of tips with you that I have had to tell myself from the very beginning. Um, and I still have to tell myself this two years later into my gym fitness journey. First off, whenever I got into the gym, I was so weak. I could barely do a 10 to 15 minute workout. Um, and, and when I looked around the gym, I felt so insecure by seeing all the fit people and all the people that were so much stronger than me. And it made me feel so insecure and it made it really difficult for me to stay consistent. But I had to remind myself that that super fit and strong person, they had to start at ground zero and they had to put the work in. And that goes into my second tip, um, is the number one thing is you have, if you want to see progress and you wanna get stronger, you have to go when you don't feel like it. And I found that when I pushed myself to go whenever I was so tired or I had a stressful day, um, I became physically and mentally stronger. Um, so I hope those tips help you because they were my number one things that got me through um, starting back out in the gym. All right, you guys, so I just got out of the shower. Um, but since I'll be out in the sun all day and I didn't really worry about washing my hair because um, I'm either gonna be wearing a red uh, American flag bandana or a hat all day, um, but because I want to try and keep the sun off my face. But I am going to put this, I want to share this uh, face sunscreen with you guys because I am, have acne prone skin, um, but I feel like even if you don't, m most sunscreens or even some face sunscreens, like I just feel like they're not all equal, but I saw this Neutrogena one at the store and it has SPF 60 and I've never seen a face sunscreen with SPF 60 and above um, And I thought oh, I was thinking like oh, maybe it'll be really really thick But I'm like I wanted to get it because it was so high So I would use it only on the days because I always put face sunscreen on before my makeup 
but I'm like, oh, I'll use it on the days that I'm out on the lake all day. Um, but this has the nicest and smoothest and silkiest and light uh, formula and texture that it has. And it's actually, oop, it's actually sort of tinted. Oop. And when I saw the color, I'm like, ooh, did I not shake it up well? But no, it actually has a tint. And it feels like water. Like you can tell. Now you gotta let it sit, obviously. Um, but it leaves a really nice glow. And you're getting a lot of sun protection or UV protection. Anyways, I just want to share this with you because I'm obsessed. It was only, it was for sale for $10 at Kroger. Anyways, all right, I'll update you guys later. Alrighty guys, it is Indy 500. A couple little things to give you guys a description. So this was the 106th uh, running of the Indy 500. There was about a quarter of a million people. I think it was well over that. It draws in around 300,000 plus people. Um, and the cars amazingly go about 200 and 16 to 220 miles per hour which is absolutely insane um so if you live around indy or indiana it is worth it is worth the wait it is worth the trip um and i hope you enjoy the few clips clips that i have included of all the festivities Alrighty, friends. So in these clips, uh, you will have seen the winner, which is Marcus Erickson. Um, it was just a sight to see. It is definitely a spectacle. 
Um, you feel the excitement, you feel the American pride, and it's such a contagious feeling. Um, so I'm so thankful that I was able to go and see this, and I cannot wait to go uh, following years and um, just to see how the race has evolved. It was so neat hearing some of the stories of how the Indy 500 was back in the day um, and just how it's changed to um, 2022. So anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying, but we will be heading back home right now and ending Sunday um, with a nice little walk around the neighborhood. And I will update you guys tomorrow morning, Memorial Day. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out where the road goes Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know Alrighty friends, so we are in the kitchen. It's 12.30 right now. Um, but I have all sorts of veggies and fruit and all sorts of goodness laid out. Um, because I will be making pico de gallo and homemade hummus to take onto the boat. Um, so I have some veggies soaking in a veggie wash and then I will end up soaking the cherries and strawberries. Um, but yeah, so I will try to update you guys through the process. And if I have time, I will definitely try and make that cake. I feel like I keep saying, oh, I'll make it today, I'll make it today. It's just, um, it takes a while to make it. Um, so I try to, anyways, I need to get the priority stuff out of the way, like the pico de gallo and hummus for, you know, to take on the, ooh. I don't know. I just found a little moldy spot on that um, tomato. Um, but also, since I moved my climbing, uh, climbing rose bush, I had to cut off a lot of the uh, flowers, but look how pretty they are. They're so gorgeous. So I can't, I'm so, I'm very excited to look at these while I uh, cook and all that good stuff. Um, but anyways, I'll update you guys in a little bit. Alrighty friends, I'm making the salsa right now and the ingredients that I like to include into mine are of course tomato, lime, cilantro, and I like to add both red and white onions into the mix as well. And my favorite tip is to chop everything as finely as you can. Um, you can put it in the blender, but I do like to have more um, chunky salsa. But I think whenever you chop it as fine as possible, you get all the flavors and they just explode with every bite you take. I 
Alrighty, guys, I'm just packing up, um, about ready to hop on the boat. But of course, I have to grab lots of little chips to restock the chip clips that we have on our boat. Of course, taking some towels and Butter's backpack, which is so cute and so fun and very handy if you have a small dog, um, especially if you travel a lot. And I got that doggy backpack from uh, PetSmart. Of course, we're packing up the salsa and hummus that I made along with some veggies for a nice refreshing snack. And I'm a in a little bit of a hurry, so we are just uh, throwing everything together and heading out the so door. So I will see you guys out on the water. Trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Alrighty friends, it is late afternoon on this beautiful Memorial Day um, and I am just adding the icing and some fruit toppings to this simple uh, cake that I make. So the cake mix is just store-bought white cake mix i put it in a nine inch round caking tin um cut it in half and then for the icing i did a cream cheese icing but i added uh mandarin orange slices as well as the orange juice and a little bit of uh orange flavoring extract and i think it adds the perfect summery touch to any simple cake recipe so I will leave that link uh, or I'll leave the description of the cake down in the box below. Pretty sweet friends i'm gonna wrap up the memorial day weekend vlog i hope you enjoyed um the few clips that i included in this video uh just taking you along with uh some of the things i've been doing this past weekend um it was just so sweet to just see everyone out uh spend time with their friends and family um people just you know walking around the neighborhood riding bikes taking their dogs on walks people going out boating today um and then of course uh just to remember and honor the men and women that have lost their lives um so that we can live in a free country that is what it's all about um to honor those who gave the ultimate sacrifice and i hope you all are having a wonderful kickstart off to the summer unfortunately i'm not sounding too chipper just because i am coming down with a cold I think it has something to do with um, a lot of the pollen that is flying around. Um, so I'm definitely going to try and stay as healthy as possible this week. I feel like I'm losing my voice more than anything. Um, but overall, I can't complain. It's just beautiful out. Um, it is absolutely temperature is so perfect for the rest of the evening i'm just gonna take it really easy i'm gonna try and just paint as much as i can on the back patio like i told you guys already it is taking absolutely forever this is a 100 labor of love um but i think it's going to be so worth it whenever i'm done and i think i am going to cook up some dumplings um for dinner and probably dig into that delicious cake that I made today and I can't wait to share that with 
all my friends that come over to my house um even if they just stop by i'll just be like hey do you want a slice of cake um i've made it in the past and people loved it well i made cupcakes the same cake but in the cupcake form and people loved it um i absolutely love i feel like food is one of my love languages it's like if i make food for you it is coming from the deepest part of my soul to just tell you how much i appreciate you so again thank you all so much for watching my memorial day weekend vlog i hope you all had a wonderful time with your friends and family um cannot wait to get back to my scheduled decorating videos i'm sure I'm sure the next decorating video will either be a patio makeover where I actually get it screened in um, or just something else around the house. I hope you all have a wonderful June and I will see you all on my next video. Bye guys.